I think MLAs have a responsibility to use any tools available to them to reach out to the electorate in British Columbia and reach, reach out to voters. Uh, and, you know, I know at home we use organizations quite extensively to uh, speak to constituents. So uh, it's hard for me to speak to every rancher, uh, for example, in my area, but to use the ranching association in my area, the Cattlemen's Association, I can speak to most of the people who are ranching because they're members of that organization. Uh, there are other organizations that are provincial in scope uh, that you can go to to speak about issues. So I've been doing quite a bit of ish, uh, work around the Pacific Carbon Trust, for example, that has implications uh, for school districts and using the School Trustees Association, the BC uh, Parents Advisory Association, and so on. So using provincial organizations that way. When you have an organization like Integrity BC that's looking at democracy and the issues surrounding democracy, I think it's a good organization uh, to challenge us as individuals and as individuals representatives to speak directly to issues uh, at a provincial level uh, that are about how we're governed, how the democratic system works, how the legislature works, and also how you know elections are financed, campaigns are run, what lobbyists do to the system. So I think it can be a very important tool. It's a young organization, and so it remains to be seen how much the organization is able to influence uh, British Columbians' thoughts about this. But I think any organization that's looking at democracy through the lens of improvement Proving it and getting every MLA to be more accountable to the electorate, I think is a good organization. I think MLAs should take advantage of that.